Uh, this video is for Slider, and Slider, I watched your uh, video on making the homemade graphene, and I don't think you're quite there yet, but it got me really doing a lot of research on that subject. I've heard some about it, but I haven't done much research, and so I did a lot of research, and it was such a simple idea what those guys did to get the Nobel Peace Prize by using a scotch tape and then graphite and then uh, peeling it back and forth until they got it down to a one molecule uh, level and that's really how it was discovered I guess but anyway I've just got the scotch tape with some powdered graphite I wanted to just see what they were doing and uh, it didn't get anywhere close to graphene but I, I did do an interesting experiment with it here that's just the scotch tape with that uh, powdered graphite that you use on locks as a lubricant and I got it on there on the sticky side then just burnished it till it got really really shiny and then stuck it in water with um, Epsom salt as the electrolyte and I put a charge on it here with a 12 volt battery and it runs this little oscillator um, like a supercapacitor or a rechargeable battery and those are the same elements in the in the solution of electrolytes so it's not a galvanic redox type of reaction it's more like a rechargeable battery or perhaps a capacitor kind of thing there's the uh, voltage on the little blocking oscillator uh, the penny and let me uh, put this on there and I'll show you what happens here the radio will pick up the noise of it this has been sitting for about uh, five minutes here there's the voltage climbing up on the capacitor that's on the oscillator here. There's the oscillator running. And that's hooked up to that, that uh, cell. You notice the voltage is dropping down now. And this is indicative of a capacitor or a rechargeable cell. the um, redox type of cells would just stay at a certain voltage and this go all the way down till that stops at about 0.4 volts and those are the same elements there on the uh, on the cell that's just the cellophane tape with the graphite on the sticky side Anyway, I thought this uh, study that uh, you are doing with the graphene is really fascinating. And uh, I don't think there's a way I could make it here uh, in my kitchen the way it's shown being made because of the, the processes and stuff. Um, maybe, perhaps, but uh, I'm not anywhere close to it here. This is not graphene. This is just graphite. But it's a thin layer of this uh, flaky powdered graphite that you use on locks and it it made a cell and like I said the electrolyte that I'm using is Epsom salts and tap water and that forms up the plates on that cell and you can see it's dropping down now but it's enough to run that blocking oscillator anyway very much enjoyed the uh, videos all the videos I watched on graphene it's quite a fascinating subject